God bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. This is another um, amazing time in the presence of God where God has given us uh, the privilege to get together and to pray. I hope you are ready to pray because this is the hour that God has made it possible for us to come before him. Now, you need to understand that um, an opportunity to pray is an opportunity to change things. Anyone that has an opportunity to pray has an opportunity to change events. But not only transform events, but even to cause God to change his mind. So as children of God, we ought to be um, wise. Did you hear what I said? We ought to be what? Wise. We have to be wise enough to understand that offense is the best defense. If we are going to change our lives, if we are going to bring deliverance to our families, if we are going to bring deliverance to those who are around us, then we need to be people of prayer. This is why the Bible says, my house shall be what? A house of what? The Lord Jesus spent more time praying. That's why he knew what his father's business was. He knew what his father wanted to do. Many of us engage partly in prayer when we need something, when we want to bribe God, when we think, you know, we do those games with God. Thinking in that way, then we have an advantage, but prayer must be a lifestyle. When prayer becomes a lifestyle, you are secure in him. When prayer becomes a lifestyle, you are secure in him. This is why we pray. You see, grab your Bibles quickly, Isaiah chapter 51. Isaiah chapter 51, and we are going to read from verse 15. Isaiah 51, from verse 15. Glory be to the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, here, it's what it, this is what it says. It is he who has made the earth by his power who establishes the world by his wisdom and by his understanding stretched out the heavens. When he utters his voice, there is a tumult of water in the heavens and he makes the mist to rise from the ends of the earth. He makes lightning for the rain and he brings forth the wind from his storehouse. Your prayer today will be this. This is our first prayer point. Are you ready? Yes. You're going to pray this and you're going to pray it sincerely. I'm going to lead you in a small prayer and then you take over. All I am doing is starting you out so that you understand where you are and then we pray on. Yes. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. My God and my Lord, my God and my Lord, I come before you in this hour. I come before you in this hour because you are the one who holds all power and authority. Because you are the one who holds all power and authority. All authority and power comes from you. All authority and power comes from you. You are the God who established the heavens and the earth. You are the God who established the heavens and the earth. By your wisdom, you have sustained them. By your wisdom, you have sustained them. Right now, my Lord and my God. Right now my Lord and my God I pray in the name of Jesus I pray in the name of Jesus that the storehouse of heaven will be open on my behalf that the storehouse of heaven will be open on my behalf as you send the rain on earth as you send the rain on earth for the farmers for the farmers today O oh Lord open the storehouse on my behalf today O oh Lord open the storehouse on my behalf that whatsoever has to do with me that whatsoever has to do with me must increase in the name of Jesus must increase in the name of Jesus whatsoever has to do with me whatsoever has to do with me will multiply in the name of Jesus will multiply in the name of Jesus oh Lord my God oh Lord my God let the season of lack in my life end. Let the season of lack in my life end. Let the season of struggle in my life end. Let the season of struggle in my life end. Let the season of asking and begging end in my life. Let the season of asking and begging end in my life. Let the season of borrowing in my life end. Let the season of borrowing in my life end. Oh Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh Father, in the name of Jesus. Open 
the storehouse of heaven for your child. Open the storehouse of heaven for your child. You have it on for me. You have it all for me. You have it 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 for me. You created it for me. You created it for me. My provision and sustenance comes from you. My provision and sustenance comes from you. Not from my job. Not from my job. Not from my career. Not from my career. All these things come from you. All these things come from you. All these things come for you. All these things come from you. All these things come from you. All these things come from you. Today, O Lord. Today, the, Lord, the floodgates of heaven. The floodgates of heaven. Open the floodgates of heaven. Open the floodgates of heaven. That blessings will come down. Blessings will come down. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Le parama da bahara, zekere mende berebeza, repando robo shika predegebesta, ingra makunde peria peria peria, eloko ne mande lekidi amandele behezo. Prima ndo falika tea mentrete kitia iromo setala kita andere behezota preventele be sentele be kita le prende perente le manduria petella ilamando ropo rimande rebete rebeta le prondose e cria maneta lito e provo setala makita repande repeta la makuria matele zapronde zapronde me conte lika akoria matele i kadosha ne mandre itala mahazoka e prato conte le mande de behezo pravatila atorama sete limondo robo sakiba de behaya le ko paria pere 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 manduria merete zekere mendere besuta e ko la matele basuta Mando robo sete bere behede robo do bohari amate. Let the storehouse of heaven be open. Let the storehouse of heaven be open over everyone that is watching. Those who are at home, those who are at home, those who are here, those who are watching right now or later, those who watch to us in the name of Jesus, we pray that the storehouse of heaven will be open. The storehouse of heaven to be open. The storehouse of heaven to be open. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, provision, 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 provision. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Eka da ba da ba da ba shati ba gaya. Lefro do koto basita. Eka na masoto. Eka lima do mahiza. Zakadosha Prevecetea 
Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that the storehouse has been opened. I thank you that the storehouse has been opened. Father, I pray for wisdom and understanding. Father, I pray for wisdom and understanding. That I may manage that which you have released for me. That I may manage that which you have released for me. That I may manage that which you have released for me. That you have made manage what you have released for me. Even for my children. Even for my children. Father, I pray now. Father, I pray now. For the spirit of wisdom. For the spirit of wisdom. And the spirit of understanding. And the spirit of understanding. That in everything I do. Everything I do. I will not do it blindly. I will not do it blindly. And that I may not misuse your resources. That I may not misuse your resources. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are you still here? Yes. Hallelujah. I want you to go quickly. We are continuing now. We are going to be in verse 17. Verse 17, Jeremiah 51, 17. Jeremiah 51 and 17. Are you there? Yes. yes, sir. Every man is stupid and without knowledge. Every goldsmith is put to shame by his idols. For his images are false. And there is no breath in them. Now, and he's talking about every man. Remember, you are not a man. Amen. Amen. You are in the world, but not of it. Yes. That is why the Bible says we speak of a wisdom of God in, in, uh, in, um, in um, uh, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 2 uh, from verse 6. It says, we speak the wisdom of God, not the wisdom of this world or the princes of this world. Yeah. So people of this world have no wisdom because they are people of the world. We are not of this world. Amen. I thought I would hear a better amen. amen. Touch your neighbor, say, I'm not of this world. I'm not of this world. I can't hear you. Type, I am not of this world. I am not of this world. Shout it louder, I am not of this world. I am not of this world. I am in it, but not of it. I am in it, but not of it. Jesus is our wisdom. Jesus is our wisdom. Now capture this and hear it. So, there are men that have idols. Every goldsmith will be put to shame. People of the world will be put to shame because they have no wisdom. Your prayer point now, it will be God do not allow me to be put to shame. As I am your child, don't allow me to be put to shame. Are you ready to pray? Yes. Are, are you ready to pray? Yes. You see, God doesn't want to be embarrassed. Amen. And therefore, he will never let his children be embarrassed. Amen. As a child of God, what you do must succeed. God should never allow others to take advantage of you, to ridicule you, and even to go ahead of you. What you do, you should prosper from it. Yes. Where you set your children, they must increase. In school, they must be the wisest. They must be the brightest. 
See, the Lord never allowed the four Hebrew boys in Babylon to be ashamed. No matter what traps they set for them, God never allowed them to be ashamed. They said, God can deliver me from the fire. When they were thrown in the fire, he delivered them. They said, if your God is real, let him save you from the lions. Then they threw Daniel in the lions. Then the lions could not eat him. When you walk with Jesus, he will never allow you to be put to shame. Are you listening to me? Demons love to embarrass people. This is why the Bible says there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ. Because God doesn't take any joy in embarrassing you. In fact, he doesn't want to. If God was interested in that, then he would advertise all our errors. He doesn't do that. Because that is not God. God will correct us. He will set us on the right path. But he will never, ever allow us to be ashamed. Demons are the ones that seek to embarrass you. That the world will look at you and say, why should I follow his or her Jesus? Why should I believe in him? Look at how she's struggling. Look at how he's suffering. In sickness, Jesus has left them. Why should I follow that Jesus? No, God will not allow us to be ashamed. Are you listening to me? The Lord will not allow us to be what? Ashamed. I can hear you. Ashamed. The Lord will not allow us to be what? Ashamed. He cannot allow us to be ashamed. He will not allow it. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Shame has been taken from me. 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 Your word says you have never seen the righteous forsaken. Your word says you have never seen the righteous forsaken. All their children beg for bread. All their children beg for bread. Your servant David declared this. Your servant David declared this. Because you took shame from him. Because you took shame from him. When he was rejected. When he was rejected. When they saw him to be nothing. When they saw him to be nothing. You glorified yourself through him. You glorified yourself through him. Father, in every situation in my life today, Father, in every situation of my life today, don't allow me to be embarrassed. Don't allow me to be embarrassed. Don't allow me to fall into shame. Don't allow me to fall into shame. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, rescue me from shame. Father, rescue me from shame. The shame of the family. 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 The shame of my own shortcomings. The shame of my own shortcomings. Father, do not allow me to fall into shame. Father, do not allow me to fall into shame. Today, turn me into a vessel of honor. Today, turn me into a vessel of honor. Oh, Father, transform me into a vessel of honor. Oh, Father, turn me into a vessel of honor. A vessel that will bring bring you glory. A vessel that will bring you glory. A vessel that will bring you honor. A vessel that will bring you honor. A vessel that men will see and see you. A vessel that men will see and see you. Father, make me a vessel of honor. Father, make me a vessel of honor. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the spirit of shame be broken. Let the spirit of shame be broken. Let the spirit of defeat be broken. Let the spirit of defeat be broken. In me and my family. In me and my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. There shall be no shame in my house. There shall be no shame in my house. There shall be no shame in my career. There shall be no shame in my career. There will be no shame with anything to do with me. There shall be no shame in anything to do with me. Even my children will not be embarrassed. Even my children will not be embarrassed. My seed will know no shame. My seed will know no shame. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because we are not of the world. Because we are not of the world. We are in it but not of it. We are in it but not of it. We are your Oh, children, Lord. Lord. You have clothed us with honor. You have dressed us with glory. You have dressed us with your presence. You have used us for your glory. Father, we will never be ashamed. Lift your voice and begin to pray against shame. Father, I will never be ashamed. 
Delebia Delebehezo, Norondo Robo Seteke, Le Brava Catalaba Soto, Le Brava de Gedebe Sataya, Le Baraba Baba Baba Sika de Le Bahaya, Colema Sika de Le Maya Fate, Ora Mande Rebehede Kedege de Gaya. Kaseta le mandere be hazuka. Hey, zakila mandere be sataya. Kalo tele be zakila mandere be hazuka. Rondo robo sakala daba hade bahaya. Le brando robo sakala baraka tele bahazota. Rondere be hadiri amasoto. Rondo robo sakila etere me sataya. Zadeba Zuka, Zaduba Hakuda, Ekla Katuke Perete, Le Paratia Etela Masutea, Broko Sotolobo Shete, Le Mando Robo Hayakata. Let the spirit of shame be broken. Let the spirit of shame be broken. Let the spirit of ridicule be broken. Over my life and over my children. Over my life and over my children. Over my family and everything that has to do with me. Hey, Zaka Parata. La Kappa Kalabakela Bahaya. In the mighty name of Jesus, shame be broken, shame be broken, shame be broken. Listen to me. Verse 18. They are worthless, a work of delusion. At the time of their punishment, they shall perish. Did you hear what the word of God just said? I'll read it one more time. They are worthless, a work of delusion. At the time of their punishment, they shall what? Perish. You're going to pray this dangerous prayer now. Let all those who have raised idols to destroy you perish. Did you hear what I said? Maybe you guys are too righteous. Let me talk to the YouTube people. Listen to me. Listen to me carefully. Anyone who raises against a child of God, there must be repercussions. Amen. Your amen is too small. Are you listening to me? Anyone that raises against a child of God, there must be repercussions. Amen. Imagine somebody somewhere has raised an idol to destroy you. Somebody in the past raised an idol to make sure your family does not succeed. From your grandfather, your great-grandfather to you. Today is the day of their punishment. Are you listening to me? Today is their day of punishment. Amen. That person that released that curse over you. That person that released that witchcraft against you. Yes. That person that came and divided your house. That person that did charms against you. Today is the day of the Lord's judgment for them. If you are ready to pray type one. 
Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Today, let your vengeance arise. Today, let your vengeance arise. Against those who have oppressed me. Against those who have oppressed me. Against those who have come against me against and your family. Against me. And my family. And my family. Oh, Lord, let it be the day of your vengeance. Oh, Lord, let it be the day of your vengeance. Your word says vengeance is yours. Your word says vengeance is yours. Let today be the day of your vengeance. Let today be the day of your vengeance. Against all those that have risen against me. Against all those that have risen against me. Against those who have dug a pit for me. Against those who have dug a pit for me. Against those who have prepared their arrows against me. Against those who have prepared their arrows against me. Against those who have dug a grave for me. Against those who have dug a grave for me. Lord, I am your servant. Oh Lord, I am your servant. Let today be the day of your judgment. Let today be the day of your judgment. Let everyone that has raised an altar against me. Let everyone that has raised an altar against me. And my family. And my family. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Let it be the day of your judgment. 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 In every place on the earth. In every place on the earth. Where they have raised an idol. Where they have raised an idol. To afflict me. To afflict me. And my family. And my family. And my seed. And my seed. Let it be the day of the Lord's judgment. Let it be the day of the Lord's judgment. Let it be the day of the Lord's judgment. Let it be the day of the Lord's judgment. Let it be the day of the Lord's judgment. Let it be the day of the Lord's judgment. Wherever my name. Wherever my name. Has been mentioned. Has been mentioned. Wherever my children have been mentioned. Wherever my children have been mentioned. Wherever my family has been mentioned. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let, that Let that altar come down. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I declare. Father, I declare. The day of your judgment. 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 Of your judgment. Against those who have afflicted me. Against those who have afflicted me. Against those who have afflicted my children. Against those who have afflicted my business. Against those who have afflicted my business. Against those who have afflicted my ministry. Against those who have afflicted my ministry. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord my God. Oh Lord my God. May you rise up. May you rise up. And my enemies be scattered. And my enemies be scattered. Oh Lord, may you rise up. Oh Lord, may you rise up. That every idol will be crushed. And Charms will be broken. That their witchcraft will be broken. That their declarations will be made powerless. Oh Lord, rise up. Let it be the day of judgment. Against every witch and wizard. That has risen against me and my family. Open your mouth and begin to pray.
Shaka. Rondo Koroko repete le taya. Prevente che debba sapere Bahia. Oh, Zakadaba Shota. Rado Sakate le Makadaya Bahazia. Repa Paratele Basuta. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Le proto lo mossa casa la baiata. Li pande le besoto che remende le basuta. Lo porte le besatilia materia. Lo porte lo mossa te. E gana la sota. Zapara ba che le besata. E cala ba che le basata. Rise up, O Lord. 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 Scatter them. Scatter them. Scatter them. Scatter them. portion the Lord is your portion cancer is not your portion cancer is not your portion sickness and infirmity is not your portion infirmities are not your portion backwardness is not your portion your portion is the Lord. Amen. Jesus is your portion. Amen. But what does it mean that you are his portion? Or he is your portion and you are his inheritance? It means that if you are with him, you are a majority. Amen. It means that if he's with you, no one can defeat you. Amen. If God be with a nation, who can be against it? If God is your portion, no one has the power to oppose you. At this amen. Uh, amen, let me talk to the people online. If God is your portion, no one can do anything to you. It is impossible. What will they do? When God becomes your portion, in him you have everything. When God is your portion, everything that God has is also yours. What does that mean? If you look at God and you ask God for money, he will give you Jesus. Because in Christ, all things are. 
Are, are you understanding? Yes. God is our portion. When he's your portion, you are a different person. Amen. Amen. Lift your right hand to heaven. Even those who are watching at home, lift your right hand to heaven. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. I understand today that you are my portion. Oh, Lord, my God. You are my portion. Lord, my inheritance is you. I belong to you. And you belong to me. You have joined me to yourself. That I will never be without you. Lord, you have brought me close. And you have caused me to be your people. And you, my God. Right now, I pray in the name of Jesus. I declare it before heaven and before earth. I declare it before the angels of God. I declare it before men. I declare it in the heavens. I declare it on the earth. And I declare it under the earth. In the mighty name of Jesus. That Lord, you are my portion. The Lord, you are my portion. You are my portion. And that which you prepared for me. From the foundations of the earth. Cannot be taken from me. Cannot be taken from me. In the name of Jesus. I receive my portion. I receive my portion. I receive my portion. From your heart, O Lord. From your spirit, O Lord. I receive my portion. May I enter into that portion. That miraculous walk. That prophetic walk. That miraculous walk. That walk of authority and power. That walk of authority and power. That when I walk, serpents, scorpions, dragons, and lions will be under my feet. I receive my portion that makes me supernatural. I receive my portion that causes me to be a light in darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive my portion. I walk in the virtues of God. I walk in the virtues of God. I walk in the in the manifestation of power. The power of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift both your hands up. We have a few minutes. We are about to finish. Lift both your hands to him. I'm going to pray for you. Whether you are at home or you are here, I'm going to pray for you. Lift both your hands to him. Even if you are watching at home, lift your hands to him and close your eyes. The power of God will storm where you are. Amen. The presence of God will manifest in you. Where there will be sickness, it will disappear. Amen. Ah, uh, no, I don't think you heard me. Where there was sickness, it would disappear. Amen. Where there were demonic forces, they will leave. Where there was an expectation of divine intervention, it shall come. Online, if you're ready, type number one. Type number one. 
type number one if you're ready. Type number one if you're ready. Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lift your hands. Father, these are your people and they're your portion. These are your people and they're your portion. These are your people and they're your portion. The thousands that are watching online, they are your people. The ones that are present here, they are also your people. All these are your people and they are your portion. Father, I pray today in the name of your son Jesus. May your divine presence increase around them that they may know you are the God who remains with them that will never leave them nor forsake them. You are the God that knows them beyond how they know themselves. And the Lord, you will carry them into the destiny you have ordained for them. The destiny that no witch, no wizard, no sorcery can take from them. No occultic power, no divination can steal from them. Father, I pray in the name of your son Jesus. These are your people and they are your portion. These are your people and they are your portion. Ekadosh te entre feteketeis. Laisti constelesta en glory fantelino. Efron de mekista acrene me satushe kitia alama norea. Ekranes de eleme so coron de lia zaka teleketea. Let your power come down in the name of Jesus. Let your power fall on them. Let your glory fall on them. Where there was demonic oppression, let it be broken. Where there was sickness, let it be broken. Where there was need of divine intervention, Father, show up for them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, move on their behalf. Holy Spirit, move upon them. Every man and every woman that is watching... Every man and every woman that is present. Your presence, Lord, let it come upon them. Let them be shifted. Let them be shifted. And let them be lifted to the place of their calling. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you that it is done. Father, as we pray for the people. As we pray for everyone that sent in their letters, their children and their families. Father, as we touch them, touch their bodies, touch that situation, touch that family, according to your word, O oh Lord. Touch them. Do something new in them. O oh Holy Spirit, you told me to do this, oh Father. As I touch it, doors are opening. Yeah. Healing has been released. Yeah. Open doors. Yeah. Elevation and acceleration. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the testimonies that are about to come. I thank you for the testimonies that have been released. I thank you for the great, great report we are about to hear of the great and mighty things that you have done for your people. We thank you, Father, that you have glorified yourself. 
We thank you, Father, that you have glorified yourself. Listen to me. I want you to take 30 seconds. You are going to pray a prayer of thanksgiving to God. You are going to tell God thank you for what he has done for you today. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice. Even those who are online, lift your voice and pray. Tell him thank you. 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 Tell the Lord thank you. Tell the Lord thank you. For that open door, for that breakthrough, for that transformation. Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. your voice. Tell him thank you. Lift your voice and tell him thank you. Lift your voice and tell him thank you. Lift your voice and tell him thank you. Thank him, thank him. Lift your voice, lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Hey, Jacada Baba 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 Baba
whispers in the dark got lost on the way wander through the park another empty day voices in my head echoes of the past memories were shed thought they'd always last chasing shadows in the night running fast but out of sight in a world that's black and white find the colors hold them tight Pictures on the wall, frames of who we were Hear the city call, in a distant blur Time has slipped away, leaves have turned to gold In this endless play, grow both young and old Chasing shadows in the night, running fast but out of sight